everyone to take their seats and cease the conversation. We're going to try to get this bill done before we go vote. Mr. Tiart. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have a, a, an amendment at the desk. I intend to offer and withdraw the amendment. An but amendment offered by Mr. Tiart. I would like to make some points that I think are uh, a very valid concern for many of us. Um, the amendment says basically that we would divert about $25 million for research in developing uh, the method of converting carbon dioxide into usable energy. And one of the reasons that I believe this is important is that um, in Kansas we had two coal-fired electrical generating uh, facilities that were canceled, not because of their emission standards, but because of their carbon footprint. Now there's an open debate going on in Washington whether carbon dioxide is considered a greenhouse gas and contributes to climate change, uh, or whether uh, it's just part of the, the normal cycle of, of uh, of the temperature changing on the face of the earth, the oceans emit more carbon dioxide. Regardless of where you're at on the debate on global warming or climate change or on uh, whether carbon dioxide as a greenhouse gas causes global warming, one thing is for certain is we have a good opportunity to take carbon dioxide, which is a byproduct from using coal to make electricity, and convert it into energy. Currently in Arizona, there is a facility that uses coal to generate electricity and then takes the carbon dioxide and uh, grows algae with the carbon dioxide. Algae takes in the carbon dioxide, emits uh, oxygen. When the algae lives its life cycle, it is then dried out and is used then again to make energy. Other technologies may exist, and we're not pursuing them to the level that I think we could. So this, the intent of this um, amendment was to send, spend some time and some effort and some finances to find ways to take carbon dioxide and convert it into usable energy. I, I apologize for the late timing of the amendment and not having time to work with the ranking member and the, the chairman. I have uh, decided to withdraw this amendment, but I think it's a good idea, and I hope the chairman and ranking member will spend some time working with me on this to uh, move it forward. I would, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I would simply comment that uh, I do appreciate the uh, colleague's attention, uh, the concern, and again, uh, the time has been short, as he acknowledges, is that the monies would come from demonstration programs for carbon sequestration. That obviously is important to all of us, too, uh, but clearly would want to continue the dialogue and look for opportunities. Would point out that for all of my criticism of management at DOE, uh, they have come together in the Office of Science, and we have $100 million for the Energy Frontier Research Center's uh, activities focused on critical issues and potentially this might be one. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I uh, withdraw the amendment. I thank the gentleman. Uh, Mr. LaHood. Mr. Chairman, I'll be very brief. I'm not going to offer an amendment, but uh, I want to make a point about uh, the fact that uh, I have been uh, in Congress 14 years. I've worked for Congress for over 30 years, and I want the committee to know that since we're considering the energy bill, the state of Illinois, and in particular Mattoon, Illinois, which is a small city where the Department of Energy had designated the future gen project to be located, reversed their decision. I know there's been a lot of debate about this uh, in this subcommittee, and I know there's a lot of different points of view. I want to raise the point that, and notice, members, that there may be an amendment on the floor uh, to restrict some of the funding until we can get answers from the Secretary of Energy. The state of Illinois, and in particular Mattoon, Illinois, has never, and members of Congress, including our senators, have never been treated so shabbily by the Secretary of Energy in withholding information, withdrawing a decision that would have meant a great deal to this small community in Illinois. And people in Illinois are outraged and, and simply don't understand, except for the fact they believe a political decision was made uh, by some folks at the White House uh, that withdrew this important project for Illinois. And I know Mr. Visklaski and Mr. Hobson are aware of this, and I just want to notice the committee that there'll be lots more discussion about this when this bill hits the floor. And I thank the chair for your indulgence. Thank you. If I could just, uh, the gentleman has a right to be very concerned. Uh, I mentioned before we talked about the elements of the bill, 
the port management at the Department of Energy and would want to continue to stay in touch. Our uh, emphasis at this point, given the administration's actions that they have taken, uh, is to try to move ahead uh, with a consolidated program so we can do carbon and uh, capture and sequestration. Mr. Rodriguez. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, let me uh, just take this opportunity. I don't have an amendment, but I do want to thank the chairman uh, for uh, helping in dialogue and, and guiding me in terms of uh, some legislation either to be authorizing or maybe later on uh, in, the, in the conference committee regarding uh, projects that exist throughout the country in communities where there, it's time sensitive uh, and where the Corps of Engineers has already gotten engaged and where the communities have gone forth on those projects on their own because they're time sensitive uh, in terms of bond issues and those kind of things where there's an opportunity for us to work with the Corps of Engineers, for them to work with those communities to make some of the, those things happen because it, they'll become more cost effective if, if that occurs. And I would just like to uh, be able to continue to allow, dialogue with you on some language that would allow that opportunity for those communities. Mr. Gentleman, would yield, uh, you have been very aggressive on this issue. I understand the need. It is an authorizing issue. I cannot promise you anything, but certainly uh, myself, Mr. Hobson, and subcommittee will stay in touch and see what develops as we proceed to conference. Thank you very much. We have about nine minutes left uh, for, the, for the vote. Um, I have an amendment at the desk. Peter, Mr. Peterson. Clerk will read the amendment. An amendment offered by Mr. Peterson. On page 43, after line 10, insert the following. SEC 313 <coughs> provided that the Secretary of Energy shall provide funding to the National Academy, of, National Academy of Sciences to conduct an inventory of the energy development potential on all lands currently managed by the Department of Energy, together with a report to be submitted not later than July 1, 2009, which, one, includes a detailed analysis of all such resources, including oil, gas, coal, solar, wind, geothermal, and other renewable resources on such lands, Two, a delineation of the resources presently available for development as well as those potentially available in the future. And three, an analysis of the environmental impacts associated with any future development, including actions necessary to mit mitigate negative impacts. I want to thank the chairman uh, first for um, uh, helping uh, perfect this amendment and his staff. Um, uh, it's fine, but I, but I must say that I go home for the 4th of July. This is my 12th year here. When I came here, this country was 46 percent dependent on foreign imported oil. Today we are 67 percent dependent on foreign imported oil, and one half of that comes from unstable dictatorships who are not our friends. Uh, that's not something that I leave Congress comfortable with. And I want to also say that there is nothing in the pipeline in this Congress that will deal with $135 oil down the road or immediately. There's nothing moving that will deal with $13 natural gas. And I urge all of you to warn your constituents. Last year at this time, natural gas was $6.50 and $7. That's the gas we put in the ground in the season when we don't heat much and don't cool much this time of the year. That's what we use for winter heating. People, 63 million Americans, 5 million businesses, and 200,000 industrial corporations are going to pay twice as much for natural gas next year as they did last year. That is going to have an immense impact on this country. Natural gas is not a world price. We've now for eight years had the highest natural gas prices in the world. I was at PPG Industries Monday. Their gas bill is a billion a year. It will double. We heard report from Lavoris, the president of Dow Chemical, in zero, 2000 zero, he had 64 percent of his production onshore. Today he's at 34 percent and here's the reason why. In 02 he spent 8 billion for natural gas. In 06 he spent 22 billion. This year he's spending 8 billion quarterly. That's 32 billion. He cannot afford to make petrochemicals and products in this country because of our natural gas prices. And it astounds me that we as a Congress and leadership in the White House, and I'm including them all, have not led us to a better day on foreign dependence and energy prices and specifically natural gas. I ask uh, for a positive vote on my benign amendment that will have us inventory energy available to us on land owned by the Department of Energy. Let me thank the gentleman for working out the language so it, so it represents a balanced approach. Yes. Those in favor of the amendment signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed no. The ayes have it. The amendment's adopted. We have uh, four minutes left. 
to, to hit the, or four and a half minutes left to hit the House floor. There are going to be three votes. Are there any further amendments? If not, uh, the chair will entertain a motion. Chairman, I move that the bill as amended be favorably reported to the House. Questions on the motion? All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed, no. no. The ayes have it. I ask unanimous consent the staff be permitted to make technical conforming changes to the bill of report just approved. Three days. I ask you to please, please come back as soon as the votes are over. We got one more bill. Thank you, David. He just talked to me. Uh, he just grabbed me.